Today, I'll show you some great functionalities of Orange Data Mining widgets and communication channels. In Orange, there are several ways to add widgets to the workflow. A. Click on the widget in the widget pane and the widget will appear in the canvas. B. Click and drag the widget onto the canvas to place it exactly where you want it to. C. Right click on the canvas and the widget menu will appear. Select the widget from there or, even better, start typing its name in the filter. Select the widget and press Enter. D. Drag a communication channel from the output of the file widget and Orange will suggest the widgets you can connect your original widget to. Remember, Orange will not allow you to connect incompatible widgets. To get more space for the workflow, go to View and deselect Expand Tool Dock. I, for instance, have the widget toolbox minimized at all times and use the right click to add new widgets. You can also tell Orange what kind of data you would like to send from one widget to another. Here is a simple example. We will use Iris data from our previous video. I will first connect Scatterplot and Data Table to the file widget. Let's see if the data was received by the Scatterplot. Yes, it's here. Let us also connect Data Table to the Scatterplot. The idea is that I will select some data instances in the Data Table and these instances will be highlighted in the Scatterplot. I will open Data Table and select some instances. The widget is sending my selection straight to the Scatterplot. See how Scatterplot marks selected instances? I have indeed just created a visual data browser. Now double-click on the link between Data Table and Scatterplot. Orange correctly guessed that the data from the Data Table will be used as a data subset in the Scatterplot. We can change that and remove this connection by clicking on it. Now we can drag a new line from Other Data to Data Subset and the plot will change. All data instances other than those selected in the Data Table will be highlighted. This is how you can define what is communicated between widgets. You don't need to do this often, as Orange matches the inputs and outputs automatically or infers the right connections from the order in which you've added widgets to the workflow. A right-click on the communication channel allows you to remove the connection. Today, I've showed you the many ways to add widgets to the workflow, how to adjust the input and output of a widget, and of course, how to turn a few widgets into a cool data browser.